Hey everybody, so this is Unit 3, Module 2, Session 5, Homework. Um, as always, uh, try the problems. If you get stuck, press play. Um, once you think you have it, pause it again. And then press play again to see if you agree with my answers. And then, as always, also bring in questions if you have them. Um, I, can't, I do make mistakes, so please make sure you uh, challenge me if you have any questions. So, here we go. The very first one, they want us just to do expanded form. And we haven't worked a lot on this in class, um, but we can kind of use what we see above, the first one that's example, and check it out. And so, like, that 2 is in the tens place, so they just multiply it by 10, so there's 20. Then 5 is in the ones place, so 5 times 1. So let's just try this. So expanded form, we're going to go... 7 is in the um, 7 is in the ones place so 7 times 1 we're going to add that to um, now we could argue that we don't need to put this one I'm going to put it there there's a 0 in the tenths place it's still 0 so we didn't necessarily need to put that there I'd probably accept either from you um, and then there's 4 in the hundredths place so I put it over 100 times over 100. And then there's a 3 in the thousands place. 1 over 1,000. Okay? I think you should try the next one, so pause it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it, because you're pausing it, so I can just go ahead and do it. So there's a 4 in the ones place. There's a 5 in the tenths place. And it actually is kind of nice, even if there's a zero in there to put it, um, just so I don't miss any places. There's a seven in the hundredths place. And then we could still put it. You don't, like, I don't think you would have to put the last one. But there's zero in the thousandths place, but we'll put it there. All right, let's check out this next one. So I think the decimal goes right here after the ones. So. I'm going to put my 3, my decimal. I have 6 tenths. I have 1 one hundredth, the hundredths place. And I have 3 one thousandths. Let's do the next one. All right, I have, I start in the ones place, 6 in the ones place. Sorry, I moved the screen. 4 in the tenths place. And then 9 in the hundredths place. I don't have anything else after that. All right. I'm not going to actually put the zero in this one. I'm just going to start with a three on this one. Three um, is in the tenths place. And then I have one. And notice my fraction I keep adding, or oh, not adding, attaching a zero um, to each, every time I go over a place, place value. Oh, sorry. That's crazy. I put my hand on there. Um, and then a seven in the hundredths place. All right, let's write the last one. Okay, this one starts in the tens. So that one is actually a 10. So I'm going to put a one and then, ooh, ooh, they're kind of tricking us here. There's no ones. There's nothing times one. See, here's why that zero might be helpful. There's nothing times one. So I'm going to put a zero there. And now I have a tenth. And I have a six, oh, I have a um, hundredth. And I have a thousandth. All right. Let's go to the next one. So these I'm a little torn on. I let some kids, um, I let you guys just write the numbers sometimes. Because sometimes to write out the, the numbers is a little confusing. I'm going to do the whole thing for right now. And then if you were to shorten it, we could have a discussion about um, how we feel about that. So this could be written a couple of ways. Um, this first one. You could just write that, and you could write six tenths. Let's see how much space I have. Or, or you could write six hundred, because you could write the whole thing. Six hundred. Let's just take a little while. Thousandths, because it ends in the thousands. Thousandths. Because it ends in the thousands. Okay, so let's do the next one. One and 
The decimal is the and. It's the only time you say and. You don't when you say a really long number, don't say any ands in it. So one and five hundred. Three. And we're in the thousands again. That three ends in the thousands. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can write it a little skinnier pencil. All right, another one. One, it's a little bit better. And now I'm just gonna write, so the number right here is 13, right? So I'm gonna write 13, but my 13 ends in the thousands. I'm gonna be happy that they wrote one for me. So two and, the and remember is a decimal, that's a decimal, two thousandths. So I need to end in the thousandths, the third place over, and there's just a two there. So I put a two there, then I fill in the rest of zeros. All right, so this next one, the number is 37. I'm really glad we're doing this homework, because this is good. 37, that's good practice, 37, and it's in the thousands. Okay, let's keep going. 40,000, so I need to, so I have thousands, and I end in the thousands, so I just fill that in with a zero. All right, they wanna put these, this next one, decimals from problem two in order from least to greatest. So the smallest one to the biggest one. Um, so it looks like I have a zero, a zero, and a zero. So the smallest one I think is 37 hundredths, followed by closely 40 hundredths. So I have that one and I have that one. The other zero is 600. Oh my gosh, I said 37. 37 thousandths right there, and 40 thousandths, I apologize. Um, the next one is 600 thousandths or 6 tenths. Did I say thousandths? I hope I did. Um, and then after that one, I have my ones. So one and, it looks like this, one and 13 thousandths. And then I have one and 503 thousandths. And then I have one and eight hundred ninety-three thousandths. My one just disappeared. That's kind of crazy. And then a two and two thousandths. Okay. I forgot to remind you to, to pause it. Hopefully you did. I think I'm going to change the colors because I'm tired of looking at the red. All right. Here we go. Second page. Let's see how this side goes. Uh, fill in the bubble to show which of the two decimal numbers is greater. So we want greater. Uh, use numbers, words, or labeled sketches to explain your answer. How do you know? Well, um, you try it. I think it's this one. And I would say that if I just stack these on top of each other, well, that's a zero, zero, two. And that's a zero. Um, I would say that 200 uh, thousandths is bigger than two thousandths, right? Uh, bigger, oh, I'm gonna write this next one as a fraction. Bigger than, greater than two one thousandths. I could write it that way. All right, write four decimal numbers that are less than one and four thousandths. So there's all kinds of them, right? Um, so, if I go less than one, I can just fill them in, right? It doesn't have to be in order, but I'm gonna make it really close just for fun. Three thousandths is smaller. Uh, two thousandths is smaller. One is smaller. Let's just go one crazy weird number. 735 thousandths is smaller. So I, there's, there's like lots of them. Um, they want f four decimal numbers there. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, be creative. But it has to be less than one has to be less than one thousand four thousandths or one and four thousandths. Alright, right, four decimals. 
uh, <clears throat> right, four decimal numbers that have an even number in the tenths place, um, an odd number in the hundredths place, an even number in the tenths place, um, an odd number in the hundredths place, odd, odd in the hundredths place, and a prime number in the thousandths place. Okay. Even number in the tenths place, odd number in the hundredths place. So, okay, let's try it. Ready? All right, four decimal numbers. So, even number in the tenths place. Let's just do them all right now. Six, uh, four, two. Yeah? Odd number in the hundredths place. So here's the hundredths place, right? The next one. And we said odd. So let's just keep going. Seven, five, three, one. And a prime number in the thousandths place. Now, prime number, this is going to be, there's only a few prime numbers that are one digit. The first prime number is the only even prime number. Prime numbers. Uh, three is the second prime number. Remember, they can only have factors of one in themselves. That's why one is not a factor. Because it only, oh, excuse me, one is not a prime number because it only has one factor. Um, five is prime. Seven is prime. And that's it. Okay. So let's just go to the first one. Two. Um, let's go three. Let's go five. Let's go seven. I mean, it could be any combination of those, so you guys can be creative with that. I think I have time to take on the challenge. We'll see how far I get on it. All right, so Rob babysits the kids next door every day after school for 1.5 or one and a half hours. He earns three fifty an hour. How much money will he earn in six weeks if school is in session five days a week the whole time? Okay. I would like you to try this before you just let me help with it. But um, I'm really, really, really curious to see how you guys are going to handle this. I need to figure out, well, there's a few things. I'm going to figure out how many hours in one week. So five times um, 1.5. This is one week. School days. So I know five times one is five. I know five times 0 0.5. Well, half of five is 2.5. So in one week, it's 7.5 hours. Oh, that was an R. <laughs> so seven and a half hours in one week. Six weeks, right? They want six weeks of school. Um, so six weeks is um, six times 7.5 hours. So, 6 times 7 is 42, and then 6 times 0 0.5 is, well, that's 3. So, I think he is 45 hours in 6 weeks. Okay, do I still have time? Yeah, I got a little bit of time. So, now I have to figure out 350 an hour for 45 hours. Okay, let's see how we do. Okay, so I'm going to change the color just because then it'll be maybe easier to follow. So I want 45 times 350. To do that, I'm going to do 45 times 3. And I'm going to do 45 times 50. Okay, so 45 times 3. I know that 40 times 3 and 5 times 3, that's 120. And that's 15. I think that's $135. And then I need half of 45. So half of 45, um, half of 40 is 20. Half of 5 is 250. So um, I believe that's 2250. Still have time? Oh, barely. Okay. If I add this up, it's 57. Five. I believe in six weeks... He's going to make 157.50. I might write on there in six weeks, but my time is running out. I'll put a dollar sign. All right, let me know if you have any questions. And that's it, guys.